All right, we are back with another Wish Wednesday. This Wish Wednesday, we're going to be testing out this shield that I got from Wish. Now, this is just like a like a one-arm type of shield. Has these spikes up here, has a big spike up here, so you can like like punch something or stab something and of course block and whatever. So, we are going to pretty much throw everything except for the kitchen sink at this thing and we're gonna see how it holds up. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Cove Audio. Now, Cove Audio has created what I believe is the best Bluetooth speaker that I've ever used, and that is for a few reasons. One, the battery life is seven hours. Two, it has Bluetooth 5.0, and it is also water resistant. Not only that, one of the most important parts is that, obviously, that it's loud. So let me show you. So that's halfway up. So you can see that it's loud, and not only is it loud, it has very nice bass, which I personally like, but more importantly than all of that, it solves a problem that you, the most important problem that you get with Bluetooth speakers, is that if you put a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker over here, and then you go to this side of the room, you can't really hear the speaker that well. So this speaker splits into two different pieces, so you can put one half over here on this side of the room, and then you can put that half on that side of the room, and then you have a 360 degrees of music, so that way it's not too loud over here, too quiet over here. You can really balance the sound that way, and it's extremely nice. I love this thing. I think this is su this is a super smart idea. If you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker, you can click the link in the top of my description, and you can use code TUBE67, and you will get 68% off of this speaker. All right, so first test. I think we need to just jump right into it. We're gonna test out the effectiveness of this spike, and uh, we're just gonna see if we can smash a cinder block with it. See how it holds up. I'm gonna, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping I don't end up like, like hitting my hand or something. But I'm gonna just hit this as hard as I can. See what happens. That could have went a lot worse. It made a little tiny, just a little tiny dent in it. I thought maybe it would have broke. Ooh, it's starting to get kind of dented. Let's try it maybe this way. Maybe this way it won't just fall off the table. Let's see if maybe I can get a couple hits in. I mean, it's still dented, but nothing, nothing crazy. Okay. I need this thing to not slide. Maybe with two cinder blocks. Maybe it won't slide. I mean, the spike is getting really messed up. I don't know how much of it you can see. It's really getting dented, but it's holding up good. Uh, I think that's kind of the end. So you can see that the spike is just kind of, you know, bent in and whatnot. And now it's just pretty much the front of the shield that hits the block. But I mean, that took like, what, seven or eight hits as hard as I could against a cinder block. So that's kind of impressive. All right, now that we know how tough this spike is on the front, I'm kind of, I'm kind of not concerned, but I want to know about these spikes up front. Like, are these things, if you really get into it with somebody, are these things just going to bend over? Are they going to, like, actually be effective? You know, just how strong are they? Because they look like, I would assume that they're probably made out of extremely cheap metal. But I'm going to, like, hit and grind on this cinder block. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Okay. I mean, that's literally grinding the cinder block down with really not much damage, just like maybe four or five of them.
Okay. So, a couple of them get bent. They're not chipped or anything. They're grinding away at the center block. One thing I can say though, is that this, this plastic handle I just noticed is getting really loose. So, that's not that good of a sign. So, we'll keep an eye on that. So, like any good shield, this one has to be able to block things. So, I have these BBs that are 3 8 inch steel, well, now it's lost, but they are 3 8 inch steel balls, and I'm gonna shoot them out of this slingshot, and we're gonna see how it holds up. I don't think it's gonna do much, but we're gonna shoot a few, see what happens. We're just gonna go with three, because I don't anticipate much, but, oh well. Now that one I knew I hit, right there. Tiniest little dent, kinda like what I thought. I think I hit on the side that time, but anyway, kind of like what I thought. Not a whole lot of damage. Let's move on. So how about some ninja stars? I think these could do pretty good. No way. You can see it literally chipped off the tip of the ninja star. So <laughs> that's not a very good start. I think I need better aim. Really? There we go. So that was like five or six Ninja Star hits. It took the tip of one of the stars. I thought it took a second tip, but I don't guess it did. Basically nothing happened. Just the, the tiniest little, tiny little dents. That's it. So we're gonna need something bigger. All right, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because this next one I really, really, really don't wanna do, but I know that you wanna see it, so I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna see what's gonna, what would happen to this shield if it was to take a strike from a sword. I don't wanna do this. I know it's gonna destroy the sword and probably not do much to the shield, but it has to be done. Oh, the things I do for you guys. Here we go. It actually really didn't do that much to the sword. And it cut the shield. I think if I swing it a little harder, I might be able to like really do some damage. Let's go one more time. So I'm actually really impressed. Sword, virtually no damage. No chips in the blade, some flat spots in the blade where it was hitting, but not chipped and really not that much damage. I thought it was gonna do a lot of damage. So that's a win for sure. The shield <laughs> is kind of in rough shape. It's, uh, it's got deep cuts, nothing, of course, nothing penetrated on the back, but you can see that it has been quite uh, flattened where it was taking the impact from the sword. To be fair, if your hand was in here, or your arm was in here, I mean, it would hurt, but you're gonna be fine. So, so far the shield is still holding up pretty good. All right, moving right along. Next up, we're gonna do Tomahawk. And then after Tomahawk, we're gonna do the Warhammer. I feel like, I feel like the Tomahawk, mm, probably not so much. Warhammer, you can absolutely destroy it. Pretty much nothing. Same thing again. I mean, it flattened it out, but... Flattens it out, does a little bit of a cut, but no penetration. Warhammer time. I literally thought that was gonna be like half of a swing and we'd be in no problem. Let's try that again. Okay, so <laughs> that time penetrated all the way through, even through like the one inch foam that's on the back. So Warhammer, you're in trouble. Well, let's go again. Yeah, with the Warhammer, uh, <laughs> you're in trouble. The, um, now granted, if your arm was in here, 
actually, I don't know if your arm would be broke or if it would just be punctured. But you can still kind of like fit it on. But, I mean, other than that, you're pretty much done if you run into a Warhammer. But uh, I have one more test that I want to see just for my own curiosity. I kind of want to straighten this thing out. Oh. Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. We're looking pretty straight now. All right, last test. Let's just... Let's just say you're in a war with a crossbow. You have that shield. Let's see what happens. <laughs> um, yeah, don't use this shield if you're gonna get shot by a crossbow. It's just not a good idea. Very, very bad things. All right, so there you have it. Um, typically, Wish is known for very, very cheap, you know, bad products. Um, I expected the same for this, but it literally took every single thing that we threw at it except for the Warhammer and the crossbow. So as much as I'm used to like bashing on Wish products, it's actually pretty good. The, the proof is in the pudding. You can't deny it. It's not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.